Hi fish lovers, I welcome you all to my channel Blue Aquatics. I hope you all are doing well. Friends, this video is on a very different topic and is the most serious topic for every fish keeper. From the video title, you must have got an idea about this. Friends, the most important thing while keeping an aquarium is its water. Either a new aquarium is to be set up or even partial water changes are to be done. Water is always considered as the most important thing. It is the most important part of fish keeping because your fish life depends on this. Friends, let me tell you about the different water sources which you can add to your aquarium. And along with this, I will also tell you the positives and negatives of each source. So I'm sure that after watching this complete video, you will be able to know which type of water is best for your aquarium fish. So before starting our main topic, let me tell you one thing very clearly. Whichever water type you want to use for your aquarium, make sure that it is tested properly. As you know, there is salt and other elements dissolved in water. So before using any type of water, we must test it properly. After all, our fish life depend upon this you can use different types of water test kits available in the market to test the water to be used in an aquarium the ideal water parameters required by a fresh water aquarium fish is ph ideal range should be 6 to 8 then comes TDS you have heard this TDS often it stands for total dissolved solid that means how much solid element is dissolved in water as it can be powdery substance accumulated or dissolved in the water as more the TDS level the more hard the water will be the recommended level of TDS for freshwater fish is 400 ppm or less some freshwater fishes require a very low TDS level then comes the ammonia ideal level is zero the fourth part is nitrite again the ideal level is zero then comes nitrate nitrate is considered as less harmful as compared to nitrite so the ideal level could be 10 ppm or parts per million friends these are the ideal water parameters required by freshwater fish so before using any water test it according to your fish requirements so now you know a lot about the water of an aquarium let's have a look at the different types of water sources 
you can use for your beloved fishes. Foremost is tap water. It is considered as the most common source for freshwater aquariums. It is very easy to get tap water. But before using this water, have you ever tested it? Most of the tap waters have a high chlorine level. And when you put this into your aquarium, it can kill beneficial bacteria as well as harmful bacteria. When the beneficial bacteria are killed, the water in the aquarium can be toxic for the fish. So it is always suggested to use anti-chlorine medicine into this water. Don't put tap water directly into the aquarium. Always dechlorinate it first. After dechlorinating, you can put this water into your aquarium. Then comes the RO water. It is also known as reverse osmosis water. Everyone nowadays suggests using this water into the aquarium because it is considered as the purest form of water. Before using this water, check your water TDS as well. Might be you are getting a very low TDS from your RO as required by your fish. The other problem by using this water is that it removes all the essential minerals from the water required by the fish. So you have to use some artificial remineralizers to restore minerals. Third is rainwater. Another source of water is rainwater. This water is often collected in barrels or tanks for aquarium use. It has a very low pH as compared to tap water. So before using this water, we can test it properly and we have to make it suitable for the fishes. Rainwater has some drawbacks also. If it is collected from the roof of any building, then it can contain unnecessary particles that increase efforts to use this water. It is also possible that rainwater can also be contaminated from air pollution. So if you are thinking to use this form of water, you have to do a lot of effort at your end to make it ready as per the fish requirements. Fourth is boiled water. This form of water can be easily obtained by boiling tap water. I get many queries from the fish keepers to use this water into their aquariums or not. And my answer is simply no. As when you are boiling the water, you are doing a lot of effort and think if your tank is big then how much water you have to boil and all these efforts just for removing chlorine instead of doing all these just use dechlorinated tap water the boiling of water also removes the oxygen from it and this can be dangerous for your fish. Then is distilled water. This form of water is also considered as the purest form of water. And this could be the better option from others. This water is easily found 
in the local market. It is free from chlorine and other water impurities. If you have a big size tank, then thinking to use this water and it could be costlier for you also. But if you want to do a small water change, then it is a very good option. I would suggest you test this water first before putting into your aquarium so that if there is any mismatch then you can cover it with conditioners. Fresh water streams are another main source for aquarium water. Friends, if you are living near to any river or lake or any other form of water stream then thinking to use this water then I would recommend you stop thinking and don't use this water so now you must be having a question in your mind that why can't this water be used as other fishes are living in this water friends those fishes are very hard and they had adapted to live in that water. Our pampered fishes have not adapted to a small water change also. Whenever we have to change some portion of water from our aquarium, then we have to do a lot of effort to add new water. Although the river water looks very clean, but it may contain industrial waste or other agriculture waste and these can be tested by our testing kits. So think how risky this form of water is for our fishes. Then is bottled drinking water. Friends, this is also one of the types of water sources available. This is available everywhere in the world. There are different types of bottled water available in the market, such as purified water. This water is packed in bottles using an RO system. Filtered water. This water is packed in bottles by filtering it using charcoal or different filters for improving the taste of water. So water from both these types must have different parameters. I would suggest that if you are thinking to use this water type then test it properly and make it according to the fish requirements. So to conclude no need to worry if the water you want to use in aquarium doesn't meet the ideal level. We have to always use some conditioners to make water safe for the fishes. That's why I said to test your water first and prepare your water according to the test results. If possible, Always ask your local fish shopkeeper about the water he uses in his tanks and what all efforts he has to do to make water beneficial for the fish. Friends, if you think that any other water source is missing, then please comment in the comment box along with its benefits and drawbacks so that it is helpful for others as well thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it for watching more such informative videos do subscribe to my channel so you never miss any important update